Hi guys. Oh my god, all my drawers are hanging open. It's such a mess in front of me right now if you guys could only see what I am looking at. So today's video is going to be on this look that I'm wearing. It's not anything like earth shattering, groundbreaking, but I was sitting down to do my makeup and I was like, let me just put my camera on and film it. Um, I didn't zoom in when I did my eyes because something is wrong with my camera, but I think I got, I think I got close enough that you guys can see what's going on. Um, I did like a, a bronzy eye with a little bit of glitter and then this bright pink lip, which I love bright lips for summer. I used Bunny's palette, the Swamp Queen palette from Tarte. Oh gosh. The first couple times I used this, I didn't use it like that much. I only dipped into like one shade, swept it all over my lid, and then took like one of the other shades and ran it through my crease. It was like super quick makeup, and I was like, oh, I really like this palette. But today, like really going in and using some of the shadows, I had some trouble blending some of these shadows, especially Sippy Sippy, which is this gorgeous, this one, it's like a a dark brown but it has a ton of gold glitter in it. I had a lot of trouble with it so now I feel like I'm on the fence with this but I really want to love it because I love Bunny, I love Tarte and I think it's so pretty but yeah I'm still on the fence. I still have not made a decision on this palette but we'll talk more about that in the actual video. So I just did a voiceover because um, I didn't want this video to be like four hours long so hopefully you guys like this look and if you would like to see how I got this look on my face just keep watching. Guys, Okay so starting right out with my Murad oil control mattifier. I love using this in the summertime as a primer. It keeps me super matte, but I have to be careful. If I use too much, it will dry my skin out, so I have to be careful. I said that twice. Then I'm going in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 6.5, and I don't know why it looks like it's a little dark for me, but it's really not. Like My body is pretty tan, and I'm using my Morphe Premium Sponge, which is freaking amazing. I talked about it in my haul video. It's so good for foundation. I love it. Can't say enough good things about it. It's like the weirdest shape, but it blends foundation in flawlessly. See, look how it looks too dark for me. But once I blend it down my neck, then it's good. Then I went in with my Smashbox Color Correcting Stick in dark, and I put this Wherever I have darkness under my eyes, and I've also been putting it on my melasma because it's so bad, nothing covers it. But look how funny it looks. And then I went in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I take medium right under my eyes, and then I go in with light medium right now, as you can see, like a little bit lower, and to highlight my face. And I like the mixture of the two of them together. Medium's a little too dark, light medium's a little too light. You see where I'm going. Then I'm blending it in with the Morphe Flawless Sponge, which is just as good as the premium one. These two sponges are like the greatest thing. And I was watching Orange is the New Black, so sorry if you see my eyes like slide to the side. Sometimes I just can't resist. You guys keep telling me I have to wait till the end because it's so sad. So I'm like dying to get there. Then I'm going in with my La Mer, the powder, to set my concealer. And I basically set my entire face with this powder. Um, I don't take it as heavy on my entire face as I do on my under eyes, but it is a gorgeous, flawless, beautiful powder. I love it. I've been using it every day. Oh, mama's getting out of breath already. Then I'm going in with my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer, the best eye primer in the history of the world. I feel like I say that in every voiceover that I do. And then I just set that down with whatever powder I set my under eyes with, which today was the La Mer. And by the way, the La Mer powder is being discontinued. So if you want it, go get it. It's amazing. Okay. So I put the Benefit Bravo conditioner in my brows, but when I combed them out, it was so weird. They were very like flaky and it looked terrible. I had to get up and go wash my brows off. Like I had to wash the stuff out. So yeah, I don't think I'll be using that anymore. But I did use the Benefit Precision Brow Pencil. Um, I'll have everything down below. I love this pencil. It's amazing. It's like the same thing as the Anastasia Brow is, but I really like it. Then going in with eyeshadow, I'm using my Swamp Queen palette from Tarte. 
it was very powdery. I was dipping into, hang on, let me grab it. I was dipping into natural peaches and it was so powdery. It's a gorgeous shade. Like once I got it in my crease, it looked really, really pretty and it did blend out very nicely. I had a lot of trouble with another shade, which we'll get to in a minute. But I mean, other than it being really powdery, it's a gorgeous eyeshadow. It's like a burnt orange shade, really pretty. Then I'm going in with Amber Rush from L'Oreal. I don't know why, I just really wanted to use this today. It's so pretty. It does look similar to Sassy Bun, which I probably could have just used that. But I don't know, I feel like I had a dream last night about Amber Rush. I don't know, I just really wanted to use it. So I put that all over my lid. It is such a pretty shade. It's, it's so inexpensive and it's such good quality. If you guys do not have Amber Rush, what are you doing? Then I'm going in with Sippy Sippy. This is the eyeshadow that I had so much trouble with. It's so incredibly pigmented, but it was very patchy. Like you can see, as soon as I put it on and start to blend it out, I kept this in real time so you guys could see. I just could not get it to blend out. It was so patchy. I mean, it took me a good 20 minutes, no exaggeration, to get these eyes done. Like, just to get this shadow blended out. It was kind of a mess. It's a really pretty shade. It does have a lot of fallout. It has gold glitter in it, so you have to be careful. I had little specks of gold all over my face. I went in with, like, three different brushes trying to blend it out. It, yeah, it was not good. So I'm still on the fence with the palette though. I really want to love it. Then I went in with Big Baby. It's just like a matte white shade just to kind of help everything look more blended. Then I took ColourPop, let me see what she was called, Stomper. It's just like a dark brown and I put that in my waterline and my tight line. And then I went in with Sassy Bun. Was it Sassy Bun? No, Sippy Sippy. I'm sorry. I'm getting confused. I went in with Sippy Sippy, that really dark brown shade, and I put it on the outer part of my lower lash line, and it did a good job there. I didn't have any trouble blending it on my lower lash line. It was just up top on the outer crease that, oh my goodness, it was not good. And then I took Amber Rush on the inner part. I could put Amber Rush all over my entire body. It's such a pretty eyeshadow. I don't know why I don't use it more. And then still blending. I still wasn't satisfied with the shadow, so I was blending like a maniac. Then I took this, I think it's called Liquid Sugar. It's from Eye Candy, and I put that, I just dip it onto a brush, and I put that all over my lid wherever I'm going to apply pigment or glitter, and I went in with the NYX Glitter in Bronze. It is gorgeous. I ended up getting fallout everywhere, so in a minute you'll see that I go in and bake under my eyes just... To kind of help with the fallout but it's so pretty I got it at Ulta for like four dollars it's really nice but oh fallout like a bitch so that's what I'm still doing look at that face oh what a face gorgeous <laughs> somebody take a screenshot of that then I'm just wiping away the bakage and the La Mer powder I like it for baking but it is a little bit difficult to wipe away you really have to wipe it away for a good like five minutes then I am going in with Gator Wings, which is the highlighter in the Swamp Queen palette, and I just put a little of that on my inner corner. Then I took Stomper on my lash line, and I just, I took a little of the eyeliner and then I blended it out. I just wanted it to be a little bit smudgy, and I just kept doing that. I would take the liner, then the brush, and smudge it out until I got it to the desired smudginess. Yeah, we'll go with that. Then I curled my lashes, and I've been taking translucent powder and putting it on my lashes. It really helps the mascara to, like, grab onto them, and I swear it makes my lashes look longer. So, just like a little hack. Then I went in with CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I'm back in love with this mascara. It's so nice. Like, you'll see in a minute what a big difference it makes. It really lengthens and it's not clumpy. It doesn't give you crunchy lashes. It's just a beautiful mascara. Like, look at that. Woo! Those are some good lashes. Then I went in with It Cosmetics Tight Line. I've really been liking this for my lower lashes. 
It's the skinniest wand in the history of the world, but it really does a good job on lower lashes. I like it. Then to contour, I took Galactic Cabo. It's just a matte bronzer, but it's really nice. It's like the perfect tone. It's not too dark. It's not too light. So I used that just to contour a little bit. Then I went in with the Lise Wadier bronzer in... I forget the name, but I'll put it down below. It's so pretty. It was a little bit darker than I expected. I was a little shocked, but it's gorgeous. It's shimmery and it has like this gold sheen to it. It's perfect for summer. Then I went in with Makeup Geek Blind Date and I use that as my blush. It's gorgeous. All of the new Makeup Geek blushes are so, so, so pretty. And I'm just baking again with the La Mer powder, just a little bit. I didn't want to do too much, but I did kind of want to clean things up. I always have trouble with contour. I feel like mine always looks muddy. Okay, you guys. So I got the Luxie Beauty, her new Squad Goals highlighters. This is Creme de la Creme. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. It's this like true gold. It's so pretty. I love it. I was like screaming out obscenities. I thought it was going to be pretty, but I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Like it is just stunning. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I love it. I wanted to like dip my entire body in it. And I'm still just highlighting my nose, my Cupid's bow. I love a strong Cupid's bow highlight. I don't care if people think it looks stupid. I love it. And then I'm just wiping away the bake once again like a mad woman. And I like to kind of blend it upwards. I know some people just like wipe it away. I like to really get in there and blend it. Then I'm taking creme de la creme on my brow bone. I swear I take like five things on my brow bone in this video. This is number two. Let's keep track. And then I go in with highbrow glow from Benefit just for a little bit more kick. And then I end up going in with just the regular highbrow at like the beginning of my brows because I feel like it really helped to like sharpen them. I don't know. I thought it looked pretty. I was having a decent brow day today. Then I took the 3D Brow Tones also from Benefit and I just ran that through my brows. I've really been liking their new brow products. They're really good. So that's just what I'm doing. And then I'm setting my face with Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray. And for my lips, I started out with MAC Sore Lip Liner. I like MAC lip liners, but sometimes you really have to build them up. I feel like I have to go over the same area like five times. But I don't know. I think I kind of like that. It makes it like foolproof because it's not too pigmented. Then for my lips, I went in with Maybelline Faint for Fuchsia. Oh my god, this is such a pretty hot pink. And it's really comfortable. I don't wear these enough. But that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. I really like how it turned out. It's like a really good everyday summer look. So yeah, I love you guys so much. And oh my. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Mwah. Bye. I was choking. What's wrong with me? I can't even drink. Oh, ow, fuck. <clears throat> this is paint for fuchsia. Motherfucker. Is that even in focus? Oh my god, why? Why is my camera always trying to blame me, Duke, when you're looking at it? What? Stop judging me from way back there. Yeah, you better go back to sleep. So yeah, if you guys would like to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Gurk, 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 gurk. It's a good day. It's a good day. What is that, the robot? It's a good day. But I think I got it close enough so that you guys can see what I was doing on my eyes. What am I even saying? Oh, God. I'm so hungry. Get changed on camera. Woo! Show us them balls. Let's do some brows. The size of my camel toe right now is on another level. It looks like... I'm not even going to tell you what it looks like. It is intensely intense. <laughs> Come on, babe. Don't you want to get naked for YouTube? No, okay. Come on, show them what you got. Show them your cookies. All your subscribers there, huh? I would lose all my subscribers. Yep. Oh, no. That's not true. Oh, it's true. Why is this so cute? It's so cute. Look at my little baby. Little baby Aaron. You want me to do the Egyptian? It's the camel. It's a little camel head. Good job. Oh, I don't think that's focused. I'll be there safe. I don't even know how a camel toe could be that big. But that shit is humongous. I should win an award or something. Seriously.
seriously. 